From elusive river monsters to eerie underwater dwellers, these rivers hold the most spooky and scary inhabitants you can imagine. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the mysterious depths of rivers from around the world. Join me, we're counting down 15 of the most scary river creatures. Starting with number 15, the Piranha. When it comes to scary river monsters, few creatures elicit as much fear and fascination as piranhas. With their razor-sharp teeth that can strip the flesh off their prey in mere seconds and their penchant for pack attacks, these fear-mongering fish are out for blood. In fact, piranhas are one of the most fearsome aquatic creatures in the world, and rightfully so, since they have some of the sharpest teeth around. And since they tend to travel around in groups called shoals, when dinner time rolls around, these creatures attack in what can only be described as a feeding frenzy from hell. There are more than 60 different species of piranha, but when it comes to the scariest, the red-bellied piranha is the most infamous. With a belly the same color as the blood it devours, this little beast is native to South America and it's found in the Amazon, Paraguay, Piranha, and Essequibo basins. It's also found in the coastal rivers of northeastern Brazil. When these fish detect the scent of blood or distress signal of a struggling creature, they can quickly gather in a swarm, attacking their prey with unmatched intensity. These red-bellied piranhas are considered to be the most predatory and aggressive of all piranhas, and they'll attack basically anything that enters their territory, including us humans. With a bite strong enough to crunch right through bone, these relentless river killers should be avoided at all costs. Number 14. Kandiru If you've never heard of Kandiru before, well, you're about to meet a river creature that you'll never forget. Why? Because once you hear about the terror that this little fish unleashes, you can never unhear it. Kandiru live in the Amazon River and have a sinister reputation for being a parasitic nightmare. Scientifically known as Vandelia serosa, these little fish of horror have the uncanny ability to invade the bodies of creatures, including humans. Yet there have been accounts of these parasitic fish making their way into the orifices of humans. Now let's talk about that for a minute. You see, the fish has a penchant for entering the gills or the orifices of larger fish. Once inside there, it anchors itself with spines, so it's not going anywhere. Then it feasts on its host blood. There have been accounts of Kandiru infestations in humans, especially when humans have urinated in infested waters. I won't say any more on that, I'll just let you sit with it. In any case, the fish are small, so they can fit into <coughs> small orifices. They average only a few centimeters in length, they have slim, eel-like bodies so they can just slide on through, and their bodies are transparent so you won't see them coming. Needless to say, the gross, gruesome nature of Kandiru induces shudders and shivers down the spine of anyone unlucky enough to know the true horror of these little blood-sucking, hole-searching parasitic fish. Tiny but terrifying, they won't just swim their way into your nightmares if you catch my drift. Number 13. The Electric Eel Alright, so full disclosure, the electric eel isn't really an eel at all, but this elongated river monster can generate shocks of up to 600 volts, so the electric part of its name rings true. Electric eels move around the murky waters of the Amazon and the Orinoco River basins. Now, they're technically a type of knife fish, but given their long body structure, they look a lot like eels, hence their name. They are stealthy hunters. They silently approach their prey and then they unleash their terrifying electric shock. This stuns the prey, rendering it immobile, so unlike other creatures, they don't have to chase down their suppers. They simply lurk, approach, and then bam, mission accomplished. So just how powerful are these slinky, stealthy river creatures? Well, to put it into perspective, a standard electrical outlet that you have in your home typically delivers around 120 volts. As mentioned, electric eels can generate a shock of 600 volts, which is clearly more than enough to incapacitate their prey. And if the fact that they can literally shock you isn't enough, electric eels are notoriously cryptic. They spend the majority of their time hidden in submerged vegetation or crevices, and this elusive nature makes them all the more creepier. A creature you can't see that can shock the living daylights out of you? No wonder electric eels have appeared in plenty of works of horror and science fiction films. Number 12. The Vampire Fish the name alone suggests that this creature is worth fearing, unless you love vampires, then you might well enjoy the terrors and horrors of this river monster. The vampire fish is true to its name, razor sharp teeth and a taste for blood. A carnivorous creature, it swims around in the heart of the Amazon basin, terrorizing anything unlucky enough to cross its path. Its long, dagger-like teeth look an awful lot like a vampire's fangs, but unlike the fictional bloodthirsty creatures of the night, vampire fish are very real. 
They are opportunistic feeders and are known to ambush their prey with remarkable speed and precision. As for size, they can grow to lengths of three feet or more, and their size coupled with their menacing jaws is enough reason to fear them. But they're also exceptionally fast. They propel themselves through the water with explosive bursts, locking onto their prey with bone-crushing bites. They like to dwell deep in the murky and obscured parts of the river, making them all the more terrifying. Merciless and menacing vampire fish are the true embodiment of aquatic horror in the heart of the Amazon. Number 11. Black Cayman Behold the Black Cayman, a symbol of primal fear in the Amazon and a true apex predator. This massive reptile lurks in the murky waters of the Amazonian rivers, and for locals, the mere sight of it is enough to strike fear into the heart of even the bravest. Black caimans have been around for millions of years. They're a testament to prehistoric times, as they've managed to adapt to changing environments and remain virtually unchanged themselves. The fact that they are basically living fossils is creepy in and of itself, but they've got a few more features that really up the creep factor. Take their size, for example. Black caimans are reptilian behemoths. They can grow up to 15 feet in length and weigh over 1,000 pounds. This makes them one of the largest predators in the Amazon, and as seeing as how the Amazon is a powerhouse of creepy predators, the fact that this reptile is one of the largest is nothing to scoff at. But the nightmare that is the black caiman doesn't stop there. They can deliver bone-crushing bites, chomping right through the skulls of their prey, and they are masters of patience and stealth. They wait and wait, submerged under the water with only their eyes and nostrils exposed, until they sense their prey. Then they strike fast and effectively. And this silent stalker strategy, coupled with their ferocity, allows them to take down pretty much anything they want. They are merciless killers, and very few animals dare challenge the mighty black caiman. In fact, they have virtually no natural predators in the Amazon. They are a creature of myth and legend in the Amazon, and the indigenous people have nothing but respect for this massive predator. Well, respect and fear. The Black Cayman has woven its way into many a folklore and legend, where they appear as powerful and sometimes mystical beings, with an aura of mystery and dread. Number 10. Goliath Tigerfish Africa may be known for its big game, but rest assured, or toss and turn at your bed at night while visions of creepy creatures swarm in your head, Africa has its fair share of disturbing river monsters. The Goliath tiger fish is aptly named since this fish is massive. It swims beneath the surface of some of the most remote and mysterious rivers in Africa. Monstrous in size, this aquatic predator has earned a reputation of being one of the scariest creatures on the continent. It is an apex predator, reaching lengths of up to 5 feet and weighing in at over 100 pounds easily. The Goliath tigerfish is one of the largest freshwater fish in Africa, but if we really want to hone in on what makes this fish scary, then it's all about those teeth. The Goliath tigerfish has a mouthful of razor-sharp, dagger-like teeth. Its teeth can be as long as an inch, and these inch-long daggers are designed to kill. They're also known for their lightning-fast strikes and their remarkable swimming speeds. Their ruthless hunting style doesn't give their prey much chance to escape. So yeah, as far as fish go, this one sits really high up on the fear scale. Luckily though, the Goliath tigerfish is very elusive. It lurks in some of the most remote and inaccessible regions of Africa's waters, so it's not something that most people will come across. Thank God. Number 9. The Green Anaconda The stuff of legends, and not the good kind. The Green Anaconda is a river monster straight from the fiery depths of all that is scary. The longest snake species in the world? Check. The heaviest snake species in the world? Check. An expert ambush predator? Check. A snake that can squeeze the living daylights out of you? Yeah, check, check, check. This scary snake is the epitome of a scary river creature. It can reach lengths of up to 30 feet, and it can weigh more than 550 pounds. If that doesn't send shivers down your spine, then let's talk about its killing methods. First up, green anacondas are expert ambush predators. They conceal themselves under the surface of the water and then strike without warning. It secures its prey in its strong jaw with incredible speed by lunging forward with precision. Then it begins the coiling process. This is whereby the snake wraps itself around the prey's body, creating multiple coils. It then tightens these coils, exerting immense pressure on the prey's body. This will cut off the prey's blood supply, and this constriction serves two main purposes. First, it restricts the prey's ability to inhale, leading to asphyxiation. And second, it disrupts the blood circulation, so oxygen supply to the prey's vital organs are cut off. Once the prey is dead, the green anaconda begins the process of swallowing it whole. 
The snake has an extremely flexible jaw, flexible enough it can stretch its mouth wide enough to swallow large prey items whole. All in, it can take several hours for the anaconda to get the prey completely down the hatch, but it is a patient snake. Still not sufficiently freaked out? Well, these snakes are excellent swimmers too. They can remain underwater for extended periods of time, in hiding. This allows them to snatch their prey right from the river's edge. They're also comfortable on land too, so they can hide both in and out of the river, along the riverbanks. Their sheer size, power, and strength, and the ability to kill confirms their reputation as one of the scariest creatures of the Amazon, and rightfully so. Number 8. Giant Freshwater Stingray In the mysterious riverbeds of Southeast Asia, a terrifying creature lurks beneath the swirling waters, the giant freshwater stingray. Now, stingrays in and of themselves are pretty horrific, a creature equipped with a weapon that can literally puncture your heart. But now couple that with an ungodly size and you have a beast straight from the pages of a horror novel. With its ominous stinger and colossal size, this crazy river creature has long captivated the imaginations of people from around the world. The giant freshwater stingray is one of the largest freshwater fish on the planet. It can reach astonishing sizes. Some have boasted a wingspan of over 15 feet and weighed in at over 1,300 pounds. Its size alone is enough to send shivers down your spine, but its stinger will plunge you right into the realm of nightmares. It's located right at the base of its whip-like tail. This serrated barb is covered in toxic spines, and you best believe it can deliver a lethal sting. They like it so deep that they often can't be seen from the surface. They're true bottom dwellers. They're masters of camouflage, and these creatures of the shadows lie in wait for unsuspecting prey. They are elusive, and as such, a lot is not known about their breeding habits and behavior in the wild, adding another level of eerie mystique. They are found in rivers and swamps throughout Southeast Asia, including Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Indonesia. This giant freshwater stingray is a testament to the many often unknown terrors that lurk deep beneath a river's rushing waters. Moving on to number 7, the Golden Poison Dart Frog. While the sight of this next scary river creature might have you saying, "Oh, it's so cute, this next fact might change your mind. Just one gram of secretion from this frog's skin can kill up to 15 full-grown humans. It's not just one of the deadliest river creatures, it's one of the deadliest creatures on the planet hands down. The golden poison dart frog is native to the rainforests of western Colombia and enjoys swimming in the rivers there. It's basically a brightly colored frog with toxic skin. Now, the main toxin in the frog's skin is batrachotoxin. This is a neurotoxin that affects nerve cells. It can cause paralysis and, when the dose is high enough, cardiac arrest. And you best believe that the dose is high enough with this frog. In fact, its toxicity is so extreme in the frog's skin that just one frog can kill several of us. In the wild, its brightly colored skin serves as a warning to potential predators. But let's get real, most humans didn't get the memo on the whole bright color equals toxic animals thing. In fact, the opposite is true. We tend to favor brightly colored things. So anyone taking a trip into Colombia should best be warned. Indigenous people in Colombia have caught on to the frog's toxic skin and has used it to their favor for hundreds of years. They've used the frog's toxin to poison the tips of blowgun darts to take down other prey. And while this has been a highly successful hunting strategy for those who know what they're doing, Anyone who isn't a skilled indigenous Colombian hunter should probably avoid this cute but deadly little river hopper. Number 6. Bull Shark A river might be the last place you'd expect to encounter a shark, which is one of the reasons why this next river creature is so terrifying. The bull shark is found in the ocean, where sharks should be, but it's also known to swim around in rivers. It's often regarded as one of the most dangerous types of sharks. The bull shark is not something you want to screw with. It gets its name from its stocky, robust appearance, as well as its aggressive nature. It's got a muscular build and boasts a power and strength that's often likened to a bull's, hence the name. But the real terror comes from those teeth. This powerful shark has an impressive jaw chock full of sharp, serrated teeth. Now, these teeth allow it to tear through its prey's flesh easily and quickly. And unlike other species of sharks who are sequestered to those wide open ocean waters, the bull shark has the unique ability to thrive in a wide range of habitats. It is known for making its way into freshwater environments, too. So, the terror of the bull shark isn't just limited to the oceans. This bad boy can appear in the most unlikely of places. Bull sharks have been implicated in numerous shark attacks on humans around the world, both in the ocean and in rivers. In any case, the bull shark is no different than most other sharks. If you see this baby swimming towards you, you best swim the other way. Number 5. The Arapaima 
If you've never heard of the Arapaima, then you're in for a real surprise. At first glance, it can be hard to accept that this thing really exists. Colossal in size and large in legend, the Arapaima is scary on all accounts. It's big, it's territorial, and it's got a set of teeth designed to kill. Scientifically known as Arapaima gigas, it's a true leviathan of the Amazon rivers. These massive fish can reach lengths of up to 15 feet or more. A legendary monster of epic proportions, it's believed that the Arapaima have been around for more than 20 million years. Now, they mostly feed on other fish, birds, and small mammals, but they are very territorial so will attack almost anything that crosses into their territory. They are ruthless river predators who sit back and wait for their prey to come to them. When it does, they ambush it, clamping down with their strong bite. And even more terrifying, Arapaima have the remarkable ability to breathe air. They possess a modified swim bladder that acts as a lung. This allows them to gulp air at the water's surface, so when the stagnant waters of the dry season become a little too oxygen-deprived, the Arapaima can survive other fish. Its gargantuan size, prehistoric lineage, terrifying teeth, and the ability to breathe air makes them one of the most formidable and fearsome inhabitants of the Amazon. Number 4. Sawfish Part fish, part saw. Sawfish are a scary fish that look like they belong in a carpenter's toolbox. But instead, these creatures are actually swimming around in the murky depths of the world's rivers and estuaries. The most notable feature of this fish is its chainsaw-like rostrum, or snout. It looks so much like a chainsaw blade that the fish was named for it. This elongated, flattened snout is lined with sharp teeth, and yes, it uses this as a formidable weapon. There have been recorded cases of sawfish reaching lengths of 23 feet. There have been recorded cases of sawfish reaching lengths of 23 feet. And even though it would seem like a sawfish would be really easy to see, you know, because of the saw attached to its face, sawfish are actually really difficult to spot. This is because they like deep water, so they often swim around unseen from the surface. They are apex predators, and while we're on the subject of hunting, let's talk about how they do that, because along with their crazy appearance, their hunting methods are also pretty scary. They possess these specialized electroreceptors, and these are located in their saw-like rostrum. These can detect electrical fields produced by the muscle contractions of potential prey. I guess why rely on sight when you have a chainsaw rostrum loaded with electroreceptors? So basically, if anything's moving anywhere in their vicinity, they'll pick it up. This is one of the reasons why they're such skilled hunters. That and their saw. And they're terrifying. Number 3. Water Moccasin Also known as the Cottonmouth, the Water Moccasin is the stuff of nightmares. The snake is found in North American rivers, and yeah, it's venomous. But unlike a lot of venomous snakes who prefer to keep to themselves, the water moccasin is known for its aggressive behavior. So venom plus aggression equals one hell of a scary snake. The snake is found in swamps and rivers, and it's a sinister serpent that glides silently through the water. It actually belongs to the pit viper family, and as such it's closely related to copperheads and rattlesnakes. They all share similar pit organs on their faces that can detect heat and help them hunt. Their venom is quite potent, they can easily immobilize their prey with a strike. Their nickname, Cottonmouth, comes from the distinctive white lining in their mouths. They open their mouths and reveal this lining as a warning. Now, water moccasins are semi-aquatic snakes, and the rivers they frequent are often in human recreational areas. They're native to the southeastern United States, as well as part of Mexico. They like their habitat on the warm side, and they thrive in wetland areas. They like to hang out in the sun, and their dark color helps them thermoregulate. For this reason, water moccasins can often be seen basking on rocks or logs near the water, the same water where people are swimming. Their venom causes severe tissue necrosis and a world of pain, and yes, it can cause death in humans. However, thanks to medical advancements, fatalities from water moccasins are not as common as they used to be. Even with treatment, a one bite from these cottonmouth snakes is not something you want to experience, which is why these snakes have slithered their way into the scary side of things that lurks in rivers. Number 2. Snakehead Fish Meet the menace that is the snakehead fish. It's located in numerous regions around the world. This thing is a terrifying predator with a voracious appetite. In some areas, they wreak havoc on ecosystems and quickly become an invasive species. Most notoriously, the northern snakehead, or the Chana Argus, and the giant snakehead, the Chana Micropeltes, have become a real nightmare for both people and conservationists. Recognizable for their long, snake-like bodies, these fish have a number of terrifying traits. They're opportunistic feeders, with a broad diet that includes fish, amphibians, and even small mammals. Really, their appetite knows no bounds, and their bottomless stomachs can severely impact local species. 
Snake and fish are also prolific breeders. Females can lay thousands of eggs at a time, thousands. So these sleek and scary fish can reproduce at rapid rates. But the really terrifying feature of one of these things is it can breathe air. So not only can it survive and thrive in oxygen poor water, but can actually travel short distances on land. They originate from Asia and Africa, including China, Russia, and India. But they've been introduced to non-native regions in the past few decades, both by unintentional and deliberate human actions. They outcompete native species, they decimate prey populations, and disrupt food webs. In some cases, the presence of snakehead fish has resulted in a complete collapse of fish populations. They can tolerate a plethora of water conditions, and because they survive outside the water, they're highly adaptable. This makes them very, very difficult to control once they've established a stronghold. Conservation officers have tried several different methods to eradicate them, including electrofishing, netting, and chemical treatments, but nothing has worked long term as of yet. Snakefish continue to slither their way through rivers and across land, and the ease with which they can overtake whatever areas they want is truly terrifying. Number 1. The Nile Crocodile in the waterways of Africa's rivers and wetlands, a silent and sinister reptile slithers its way through the water. The Nile crocodile is the crocodile kingpin of the region. And with its massive size, powerful jaws, and aggressive nature, it's not hard to see why. It lives in various countries in Africa and is the second largest living reptile on the planet, second only to the legendary saltwater crocodile. It is a colossal reptile. It can grow up to 20 feet long, although there have been reported cases that exceed that length. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd probably fear pretty much any 20-foot-long creature that crawls out of a river. But it's not just the croc's size that's a cause for concern. When it opens its mouth, it shows off those razor-sharp teeth, and it can snap that jaw shut with incredible force, and prey that finds itself in the clutches of one has little chance of escape. Nile crocodiles spin their bodies to rip apart prey's flesh. Once the prey is secured in the croc's mouth, it employs a hunting technique called the death roll. They spin their bodies to rip apart the prey's flesh. This makes the prey easier to swallow. Now, this in and of itself is scary. A massive reptile with sharp teeth, a powerful jaw, and honed hunting technique that rips flesh clear of its prey's body? Yeah, no thanks. But the really scary part is how common these crocs are. Unlike some other terrifying river creatures, which are pretty elusive and hard to find, the Nile crocodile is one of the most widespread crocodile species. It's native to sub-Saharan Africa and has a range that extends into Egypt, Sudan, Kenya, and South Africa. It thrives in both freshwater and brackish environments and can pretty much be found in both. They are patient hunters and lurk just below the surface until they see something they want. They open up their powerful jaw and just clamp down. Sadly, human encounters with these crocodiles in the wild don't end well. They're responsible for more human fatalities than any other crocodile species, and they continue to pose a significant threat to people in Africa. Nile crocodiles are designed to kill, and unfortunately many human lives have been lost due to the clutches of this reptilian beast. For this reason, the Nile crocodiles are in the top spot on this list of the top 15 scary river creatures. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.